on start day. A little luminance football, that's what. What's up, everybody? Cardboard Moses, which you're welcome. It is about that time for a little luminance football. 2019 luminance football. It is a six box break, number two, which would be the second half of yesterday's break. Let's get it popping. All right. I got it right here. Let's do what we do. Man, I needed this rest day. My legs are on fire. I'll be back at it again tomorrow, though. But for today, much needed rest day. All right, let's see what we got. Steve, since you like soccer, I know you're going to watch the, uh, the Copa America. One of the more prestigious soccer tournaments. It's basically going to be the South American teams with, with, sprinkled in with, uh, with some other nations there. Huge game on Sunday. Argentina against Colombia. Two of the top ten teams in the entire world. So that should be a that should be a good match. But uh, you know, speaking of football, let's get to American football here. A little luminance. All right, we got Keenan Allen to seventy-five Chargers. We got Harrison Smith, patch autograph to one forty-nine Vikings. Decent. Dude, there, there's a few ballers on that Colombian team. You know, I, myself, I am Colombian. Colombian-American, technically. So, I will definitely be pulling for the Colombian side. James Rodriguez is a beast. But we got some other ballers on there that, that not many people know about. Juan, Juan Cuadrado, that's another baller. Dexter Williams, he could be a baller right there. Well, maybe, we shall see. Quintero, Juan Quintero, that's another baller. And we got some up-and-coming talent, too. Calvin Harmon to 275 Redskins. We got Miles Sanders autographed to 149. Is it just me, or is this, like, a little too bright? Maybe. Maybe. What do you think about the USA uh, team, the men's side, anyway, uh, Steve? There's some good talent coming up, too, for the USA. But uh, I feel like the problem is not enough kids are playing soccer. You know, they're more so geared towards uh, American football or basketball or baseball. And that I think that's the problem with men's uh, soccer. Is that just soccer is just not a big sport in the states, but it's huge. It's the biggest sport everywhere else in the world. So until that changes, I think the men's side is going to struggle for a while. Jaden Ferguson of ninety nine Ravens. We have here Greedy Williams of the Browns, number nine of ten. Pretty nice. Put a little top loader on that. We got a Rosen, two-color patch to 49 Cardinals. As a Dolphin fan, I'm not quite sure what to think of Josh Rosen. Russell Wilson, Seahawks. Rosen now a Miami Dolphin. It remains to be seen what he will uh, bring to the table. Baker Mayfield to 100 for the Browns. You know, I knew this kid was going to be big time. You know, I wish the Dolphins uh, tried to make a move for him, but it's the Dolphins. Uh, we have Antoine Wesley to 349 here.
The men's side has some good, you know, they, Pulisic. Pulisic is a stud. Like Tom Brady here, insert for the Patriots. The problem is, you know, they, they got to send their players overseas. You know, and play play in the Spanish leagues or the Italian leagues or, or the uh, you know the German leagues. You know, they they uh, a lot of our talent is in the MLS, and yes, the MLS has gotten better. But in my opinion, the MLS is really just one of the worser leagues in the world. You know, there's a reason why European stars come to the MLS when they're, like, in their late 30s or in their 40s just to get a paycheck. And, you know, it's crazy. Ibrahimovic is with the Galaxy, and I, I don't know how old he is. He's, he's old as heck, and he's still dominating. He's still dominating, like, kids half his age. So, that, that is, that's the problem. You know, the USA really needs to make an effort to, one, build these kids up, you know, find talent wherever it is in the States, and then send them overseas. Because if we keep churning out players from the MLS, <laughs> we're not going to go anywhere. We got Caleb Wilson to 75 Cardinals. Yeah, but that, yeah, Steve, you also raised a good point there. You know, the MLS has only been a league for, like, what? I want to say may maybe less than 20 years, 15, 15 years or so. Whereas some of these other leagues have been around for close to 100 years. And I'm, that's not even exaggerating. Just so it's, it's, it's got, got to be a little catch-up there, a little catch-up, you know? Uh, Josh Jacobs with the Silver Ink draft day on Cardano. That'll go to the Raiders. Raiders are going to be on Hard Knocks this year. I uh, don't really know what to think of that. You know, historically, oh, speaking of the Raiders, Antonio Brown answered there. Historically, teams that are on Hard Knocks don't have a good season. <laughs> so it'll be fun to see what the Raiders do this year. I think they're not going to be a... I think they're going to maybe win six games. Nick Foles to 49 Jaguars. Our Seagull Whiteside to 149, the autograph. Yeah, only been a league since 95. It's going to take some time to catch up with the rest of the world. And kill Harry Patriots insert. I find that hilarious that the coach is getting paid more than some of the players. And mind you, John Gruden doesn't have exactly a good record as a coach. You know, he he had that one season with the Tampa Bay Bucks, and that's and that's and the only reason he won that Super Bowl. Is because uh, you know the coach before him basically put that team together. Drew Locke here for the Broncos to 100. I forget his name. T Tony Dungy, I think. Jeffrey Simmons to 99 autograph. I feel I feel John Gruden is overrated as a coach. Like, what has he really done, honestly? Except for that one Super Bowl he won with the Bucks. DeAndre Hopkins Texans insert. Got Ben Roethlisberger, 99 Steelers. Trace McSorley, 275 Ravens. We have Mitchell Trubisky, Bears. Potch, Ryan Finley, insert, nothing there, on to the third box,
to 49, Devontae Adams, Packers. I really like the look of these cards. I like the full art. Riley Ridley with the on-card white ink autograph for the Bears. Somebody should have gave this kid a brand new pen. See the ink running out on that. Vintage insert for Ditka the Bears. Yeah, Steve, you know, just, just, uh, I've, for the past few days, I've just really been focused on taking it a day at a time, you know, you know, really focusing on the diet and the exercise too. And, and, and honestly, I feel great, man. I feel more, more energized, sleeping a little bit better. So, you know, just taking it day by day. I, I know I'm not going to drop all the weight. You know, all at once is going to be is going to be a long process. It's going to take months, maybe years to get to where I want to get to. But uh, but but I'm definitely focused and I'm definitely on that, man. Khalil Mack of the Bears, two seventy five. Paris Campbell to one forty nine. You know, especially since, dude, I'm I'm twenty nine years old with high blood pressure. You know, the, the the doctors that have seen me themselves are like, dude, you're way too young to be having high blood pressure. So, you know, you know that that was a huge wake up call. DeAndre Hopkins Texans insert, especially, you know, when I got on the scale, and that thing said over 300 pounds. I've never been over 300 pounds in my life. So that was another huge, huge. Huge wake up call. Terry Jackson to 275 Bills. David Montgomery, 349. Daniel Jones, Giants insert. Been eating straight chicken and salads or like broccoli and stuff like that. Damian Harris, the 99 Patriots. Philip Lindsay, Broncos, 275. The alcohol is probably going to be the toughest, honestly. Lynn Dawson, Cheese Patch. Like, I don't really drink a lot. You know, like if I, you know, maybe I go out maybe once every two weeks and like have a drink or two. Amari Cooper Cowboys insert. But I will admit one thing that I do is I, I do smoke. Uh, I do smoke uh, uh, at least one a day. And I'm not exactly talking cigarettes if you catch my drift. So I'm sure that contributes to the high blood pressure. But more so my inactivity, man. When I used to work at UPS, dude, you know, I was like 230, 220 pounds. I was still overweight, but I was, dude, I was good. You know what I mean? Like I was, I was, I was fit. I could jog four or five miles, no problem, without stopping. You know, and ever since I, you know, left that job, and, uh, and it's really on me for making poor choices. So I take, you know, full responsibility of that. But, you know, in this in this gig, you know, you're sitting down, you know, anywhere from 8 to 12 hours a day. And, uh, you know, I, I don't get out of here sometimes until like 2, 3 in the morning. And at that time, you know, the only thing that's open is like fast food stuff. So, you know... I just made so many excuses to, for myself. So now what I'm doing is, you know, I'm waking up earlier, going to sleep earlier. You know, that way I can wake up and, you know, cook me a little meal so I don't have to worry about going out to eat later at night. You know, that, that's been a huge step too is uh, the, the meal planning. Deontay Johnson to 275 Steelers. Karan Higdon to 99. Yeah, I don't really drink soda either. 
actually like at all honestly but uh definitely don't drink enough water definitely don't drink enough water Curtis Martin Patriots insert so working on drinking more water sticking to the diet and uh, and get that exercise up and rolling again David Blah to 99 Browns Jordan Reed of the Redskins 275 but enough about me Steve what's going on with you man how's life treating you Cooper Cup of the Rams with a patch Larry Fitzgerald Cardinals insert McClellan Pharrell to 49 Raiders. DJ Moore. Autograph to 99 Panthers. Yeah, Drew Brees Saints insert. Tony Pollard, 275 Cowboys. Got Greedy Williams to 349 autograph for the Browns. I need more top loader. You got a new puppy coming in August? Is like, uh, is, is your dog pregnant or something? There you go. Go for the Browns. I want a puppy. Trubisky Bears insert. Actually, I was talking to uh, to my partner. The money man, the Gelfman, and uh, actually this was like at the last national. Actually, uh, I asked him if I could have a dog in the office, and he said absolutely. So if I were to get a dog, it'd be you know it could be a Rip City uh, mascot, if you will. It 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 would it had it have to be a small breed. It'd have to be a small breed and a breed that's not very active, I guess. You know, that, that would not mind just chilling, laying down for like hours while I do my while I do my breaking thing. A bulldog? I can see myself with a bulldog. I love I love animals, period. So any dog would be perfect. But uh, you know, seeing as the gig that I have, it would have to be, you know, a smaller breed that could just, you know, chill here while I while I do my breaking. We got Joey Boza, two seventy five Chargers. Will Greer, Panthers. Draft day on card auto with the white ink. A Greyhound Lazy. That's funny. You know, when when you think about it, you know, they're supposed to be, you know, don't they use uh, Greyhounds for like horse racing, uh, horse racing, dog racing and stuff like that? Hunter Renfro, 275 Raiders. Earl Smith Jr. 149 autograph. No offense. 
insert. Zeke Elliott, Cowboys, 275. Gardner Minshew, the second, auto to 349. I will do a recap of the autographs at the end of the break. I will pull the checklist up and make sure I uh, announce what teams they go to and whatnot. Barry Sanders, lines insert. Here. Terry Jackson for the Bills, 299. And Oliver of the Bills to 25. For the Raiders, Antonio Brown with a patch. I like how they photoshopped him on with his uniform already. David Johnson, Cardinals insert. And it's time now. For the last box, Mojo. Last box mojo. Good luck, everyone. Especially those without a hit. We got a Paris Campbell to 100 here. David Montgomery, 349 autograph. Dwayne Haskins insert. That'd be a nice auto. We have Darnell Savage Jr. That is a hell of a name. Number 3 out of 10. He better be a savage on that field. We got Ryan Finley with the white ink. Draft date on card auto. That will go to the Bengals. Damian Harris, Patriots insert. DeAndre Hopkins, 275 Texans. Ah, of course, they had to do it on a Dolphin. That was a sick catch, though. One of the best receivers, if not the best receiver in the league. Byron Murphy to 349. Deshaun Watson, Texans insert. Sonny Michelle, 99 Patriots. Devin Singletary, 275 Bills. Trubisky, Bears insert. Bruce Smith, Bills insert. And that's going to do it for the break. All right, so let me pull the checklist up here for this recap. All right, so before I do the recap, though, one thing I do want to show off, or a couple cards I want to show off. Uh, they're not autographed, but they are pretty low numbered. Darnell Savage Jr. of the Packers, number 3 of 10. And Greedy Williams of the Browns, number 9 of 10. Very nice. All right, now to the autos. So we have Byron Murphy, 349. Byron Murphy, Cardinals. David Montgomery, 349. 
Montgomery is a bear. Gardner Minshew the second, 349. Minshew's a Jaguar. Irv Smith Jr. Irv Smith Jr. is a Viking. Greedy Williams, 349. He's a Brown. Karan Higdon to 99. That is a Texan. Dave Montgomery, 349. That is a bear. Paris Campbell, 149. Paris Campbell, a Colt. Jeffrey Simmons to 99. Jeffrey Simmons is a Titan. JJ Arcega Whiteside to 149. That is an Eagle. Antoine Wesley, 349. Antoine Wesley's a Raven. And Miles Sanders to 149. Miles Sanders is an Eagle. We still got more autos, though. We also have Ryan Finley, Bengals. Will Greer, Panthers. DJ Moore, 299, Panthers. Riley Ridley, Bears, Josh Jacobs, Raiders, and Harrison Smith, 249 Vikings. And that's going to do it for the break. Thank you, everybody. We'll get it out to you. Thank you very much.